So hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all doing okay. Now you join me today in this video. I'm back at my parents' place and I've got to convert this van in one day. Now this is because I'm going to a festival on the weekend um, and I paid to have obviously this camper van go in, but that one doesn't work anymore. So I'm converting my new van. Um, it's gonna be a very rudimentary conversion, literally just bed, uh, shelves and all that. Obviously I can only get it done in a day. Uh, but I've got a lot to get on with. So let's get on with the video. So my first step is what I'm going to do is I'm heading to uh, a little town near where my parents live now to see if I can get some free pallets. If I can do that, then I can hopefully use the pallets to make some sort of bed um, and maybe a little table and a sort of storage area or something. Everyone seems to be in a bit of a bad mood this morning. You don't want to give me any pallets and even though they got loads of them everywhere. Okay, so we managed to secure some pallets. They're pretty broken up. They're not great, um, but they were free. So positive. So let's go and build a bed. <laughs> What I've got to do now though is because I'm going to use my old mattress from my old van I need to somehow get into that van to measure the width and length of the bed um, But that van doesn't have any power which means the electric doors don't work So I'm going to have to find a way into the back of the van when the doors don't open Oh my god Oh, fucking all these spiderwebs. Okay. And... Oh, everything still works. Home sweet home. Right. Here's the bed. We're basically just going to build one that same size. Right, let's measure this bed then. Remember that, 195 by 137. Sad to see this place go. So now I've just got to make a bed that is 197 by 135 or whatever it was out of these pallets. Let's crack on. <laughs> I've just chopped that off that um, and then I'm basically going to take off this end piece of wood here from the pallet, screw that onto that and that will give us then our 190 and then I'll basically chuck a few loose pallets in the back which we can then stack these on and then I just have to make up I think it's about 20 centimeters on the other side um, which half of that will be a wheel arch and we will work out what we're going to do with the rest. <laughs> Okay, so I've worked out I can use this pallet and that pallet over there to do sort of like the base section for the bed to go on. And then using these smaller ones, I'm just gonna fill the side gap and then cut that one up to do the extra 20 that we're gonna need on the side. But first of all, I've gotta fix this pallet, um, which I'm gonna do now. <laughs> before I get the bed in. I think I want to take that bulkhead out just to let some natural light in um, and make it better. I'm not sure how easy that is going to be to do, but we're going to give it a go. There's two rivets either side, and I'm not really sure what to do to get them out. So I'm gonna go and ask the dictionary of DIY, my dad. Okay, answer found. Uh, we're just gonna drill them out. That's the easiest way to do it. Two. And then 
those light. Nice. Sick. All right. Okay, so there's our 190 or whatever it was. We should have about my calculations. Oh, fuck. Wow! Right, there's an issue. Here's the bed to start with. Um, I think it's a queen size, not a double. This looks huge. Uh, basically, I need to obviously put some stuff under here so that I don't do what I just did again and then I need to fill that area and then the rest is well now those three pieces should fit where we need them to so let's go do that That, ladies and gentlemen, is our bed frame. Ka ching Ooh. Oh, Come on. Now it looks more like a camper van. Bed in. A little bit of space to slide some stuff in there. Should we test it out? Ooh. Oh. Oh, I'm not wrong then. This is gonna work. That's what we're working with. So I think what I'll do is store two jerry cans there just so I have water. I've got in the post coming a electric shower which plugs into my 12 volt there and then that can be a shower. And then I think what I'll do is probably just stack some Tesco crates to be honest because I might take a stove, some gas, um, find out where some clothes are gonna go. Maybe I could build some shelves. Ooh, good point. Shall I build some shelves there? How long would that take? couple hours yeah <laughs> Okay, so I've got two um, shelving unit. Hang on a minute. There's two. There we go. Shelves. Shelves. Lovely stuff. Ha! Huh, nice. That'll do. Okay, so the Amazon man has arrived and we have our shower sorted. So it plugs into here, the 12 volt. You can put a little reservoir there, but I'll probably just use the jerry cans. It's got a little suction cup as well. What you gotta do, press the button and we have a shower. Look at that. Amazing stuff. So ladies and gentlemen, 
my conversion for the weekend is finished. Now this took me a grand total of eight hours and this is what you could do in eight hours converting a van. Bollocks. So here obviously we've just got some crates with our stove and everything in, just camping stove. We've got jerry cans and everything there full of water, table, chair, a little bit of decoration, some lights in the ceiling, which are looking lovely. Um, and then we've got queen size bed, lovely memory foam mattress on there. Um, and then we've got a little shelving unit which have all my clothes. These obviously these two fans which I showed you earlier. And we've removed the bulkhead, so we've got lot of, lots of light coming through as well. But obviously I can block that off at night uh, with those reflective things I've bought as well. Um, so yeah, if anyone tells you that you can't make a camper van in a day, they are lying because I made this in eight hours. So thank you everyone for watching and I will catch you in the next one.